Alright, so in today's video, we're going to be making a boom bap beat. So like in the styles of like Ninth Wonder or Jay Dilla. And I want you guys to know before I make this beat, this is like honestly, I like making these type of beats better than my trap. I just make trap because that's what you know, that's what everyone's uh, consuming nowadays. So I'm gonna show you guys that I'm nice with the boom bap type stuff. And let's get to it. Alright, so to start this beat, we obviously need a very good sample. So I actually recently just bought a new sample pack from drumbroker.com. If you don't know who that is, search it up. They have the best samples on the internet. So we're just gonna go searching through that. We're gonna see if we can find a sample that I like. Alright, so let's just grab each one and put them into my playlist to listen to them. Alright, so I like this one, but it's not really the vibe I'm going for. Alright, so let's listen to this one. That's the one. That's the one right there. Yep. Yep. All right. So when a sample makes you do that, you know it's you know it's a good sample. All right. So let's find where it loops and let's just chop it up. So I want that part right there. Let's cut this out. And it looks like it just loops. So I'm gonna cut it right there as well. I'm gonna make this unique as a sample so I could throw it into my fruity slicer. Let's go ahead and open up fruity slicer now. And let's just throw it in there. Go ahead and cut it onto beat. And before we start doing this, you wanna make sure the BPM is from 80 to 95 if you wanna go for a ninth wonder J Dilla type beat. So let's do 85. So now we got this. Let's turn it up. If you guys can hear that clicking between each slice of the sample, if you turn the attack up, that's what that does and it's gonna fix it now. So now it's gonna be nice and smooth between the slices. So now let's just go ahead and EQ this a bit. And I kinda want that Kanye West chipmunk effect, so I'm gonna go ahead and clone this and then do one octave higher. But since I'm stretching, it could be a little harsh, so we're gonna go ahead and EQ this one as well. So together they sound like this. It just adds like another layer to it, sort of give it some more room. All right, so that's basically going to be it for the melodies, I guess. And now we're gonna do the fun part, which are the drums. So if you're gonna make this type of track, you wanna make sure all your percussion is not quantitized. That was like a signature thing that Jay Dilla and Ninth Wonder used to do. And it gives you more of a balance, like when you listen to the track and you just go like this, and you're just like naturally nodding your head, you don't know why. It's it's cause like everything is not quantitized, so it gives it like a human feel. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Fruity Slicer once again, and I'm gonna throw in a perk loop, and I'm gonna take it off the grid, or I'm gonna not quantitize it, so it gets that human-like feel. So let's just find a loop. I like so I like this one right here so we're gonna throw it in and automatically fruity slicer is going to chop it up to beat but we don't want all this right here so let's just delete it so now there's bounce but what we're going to do is go to this wrench tool and then go to the shift right here and then turn it up so this is kind of taking it off the grid it's delaying it a bit so now we're gonna get more of a human bounce to it also I'm gonna go ahead and EQ this as well So already we have that bounce. That's what creates the whole bounce is the percussion in the track. Now let's go ahead and grab a snare. Let's also grab a kick. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and add some more open hats and stuff like that. Just adding in more percussive elements to give it more of a bounce. We're basically almost about done. I'm just going to go ahead and add a bass line to this. So I'm actually going to grab a stock FL instrument because I think they have good bass lines. Try and find the key of this now. That's the first one. There we go. Let's 
just drop it down now. And there you have a boom bap beat. So now I'm going to arrange this and show you some cool things you can do to build a cool energy in the track. So let's go ahead and grab the original sample. And then we're going to grab this intro part right here. So I want that as the intro. And then we're going to bring in the drums and stuff. All right, so now we're going to split what we have. So in the beginning, I want the perk loop to come first, the snare and then the kick. So take out the bass line, take out these additional hats. I don't want them yet. So I just want the perk loop to come in first. Actually, we'll do the snare first and then we'll have the kick come after. So we'll do a little something like this for the intro. And that just creates so much energy into how you bring it in. So we're just gonna go ahead and loop this now. a lot of times what Jay Dilla and Ninth Wonder like to do to create to create varieties in their beat is EQ the verse part and just leave the low end frequencies so you an example so I'm going to create another EQ on this so for this one we're gonna strictly cut out more of the low end and then we're gonna automate it so the only time this is going to be effective is in the verses for the hook it's gonna have everything and then for the verses it's gonna have just the low end of the main sample and this is how it's going to sound And that right there is done. So since a lot of you guys have been asking, I'm gonna go see if Banana Boy's trying to get on this. Hey, yo, faggot! Is it time? Y yes, it's time. Yes, fucking go. And if you say some such shit this time, I will beat your ass. I'm not joking. Dog, don't worry. I got you. Just give me something to rap about, my G. Just uh, rap like you're a J. Cole or something. I don't know, like a backpack rapper. I bet. I got you. I got you. Uh. I'm in the lab like chemicals, swallow your homie's genitals. I'm the top of the pedestal.